So we have a bit of an update on Saw 10. I didn't think I'd be talking about Saw for a good while now. I think the last we heard for Saw 10 was probably about a year ago or so, where it was announced by Lionsgate that Saw 10 was currently in development. It looks like a fan-made poster has been made, and somebody assumed it was a legit poster, and they posted it to Josh Stolberg, who's the screenwriter of Jigsaw and Spiral, and asked him was there any truth to a new Saw movie. So he responded, actually. So I'm going to quote what Josh Stolberg said on Twitter here. I can't comment on anything that hasn't been officially announced by Twisted Pictures or Landscape. What I can tell you is that this is my favourite script of the three Saw movies I've written. Now, this means it looks like they're taking the same steps that they did whenever they were making Jigsaw. During the development of Jigsaw, the movie was announced and the script was being written and rewritten. And whenever they were happy with the script, they then hired the Spirit Brothers to direct Jigsaw. The Spirit Brothers said they felt more like hired guns whenever they were working on Jigsaw. They couldn't really uh, make the movie exactly how they wanted it. They were able to make some adjustments to it. And for that there is the reason why they didn't come back for Sparrow and probably won't come back for Saw 10. They might, they might not. I don't know. Usually they like to, well every director does like to have creative control over a film that they're making, but uh, uh, it looks like they did have a lot of fun with Jigsaw, they just didn't get to make the movie the way they really wanted to make it, they were hindered. So it looks like for Saw 10 what they're going to do is, what they're doing right now, writing the script, rewriting it, and then they'll eventually bring on board someone to direct the film. It could be the Spirit Brothers. It could be Darren Lynn Bousman, it could be David Hackle, Kevin Gordon, any one of them. It's unknown. I'd like to think they'd bring back Darren Lynn Bousman, you know, after Sparrow, it's a possibility. But even the producers and Darren Lynn Bousman were surprised that Saw 10 was announced before Sparrow was released. And it was Landscape that put that through. So that was the first <laughs> they found out the same time we all did that there was going to be an awesome movie. I don't even think Chris Rock will be involved in this one here. I think he's got to stick more with Sparrow, Saw 10. From what we know is meant to take place between Saw 2 and Saw 3 during that six month gap and Chris Rock's story arc wouldn't really tie in. Well it could but the most he'd probably get is a cameo especially if this movie is meant to be Tobin Bell centric and focused specifically on John Kramer Jigsaw. With this being Josh Stolberg's favourite script of the three Saw movies he's written, why would it be his favourite? Due to the time frame that this movie is going to be set in, I'd say there's a very high possibility, and I've said this before, that Detective Mark Hoffman and Amanda Young could definitely come back. We finally get to see them all together on screen again, possibly even Logan Nelson. And it means they can tell a new story. So this is interesting. I can't see them making Saw 10, having it set between Saw 2 and Saw 3, and not bringing back Hoffman and Amanda. They'd have to bring them back. I reckon maybe it could be freaking February. This time next year they could start filming it or they could be having push production on it on the go. Uh, I reckon the new Saw movie might not be released until 2023 at this rate. The reason I haven't talked much about Saw, and I know that a lot of you prefer I talk about Saw, there's just not really much to talk about. You know, there's not really any announcements, there's no updates, not much news, there's not really much to say. I will continue to talk about Saw when something new comes out. Maybe not right away. I also have other videos in the queue vlogs about, you know, what I'm doing with my friends and what's going on. This will probably be Tobin Bell's last Saw film as well. I mean, the guy's in his late 70s, he's coming 80, as far as I'm aware. I mean, we don't know how much longer he has, and I, I'd say Tobin would probably continue to play John Creamer till the day he drops. <laughs> you know, he loves the character so much, and it's an iconic role for him. But it, it kind of looks like this could be his final movie, his send-off. One last show. The Encore. It could, there could be a Saw 11, they could bring him back for that there, but uh, I think it would make more sense if they just, if Saw 10 was his last movie and, you know, tie the knot and then continue with Spiral, continue with Jigsaw, Jigsaw 2 with Logan Nelson. That's all I have to say. Goodbye. <laughs>